based on some things I've heard from other small content creators like myself, and from general things I've heard in the community, like Reddit posts like this, people seem to think that the Jump Force roster is going to be incredibly big, and I'm not sure where they get this evidence from, or how they came to this conclusion, I would say. The general gist I get from the community is that people are expecting the Jump Force roster to be anywhere between 45 characters and 70 characters. Like I said, this Reddit post here suggests 80, which I personally think is crazy. So I wanted to run through some numbers with you and lay out the rough roster size I'm expecting and why we shouldn't be too upset about that number. First of all, in July, when the game was initially revealed, we found out about nine characters. Come August, counting characters character creator as one character, we found out about an additional seven characters, bringing us to a total of 16. In September, we brought that number up to 21 when we found out that there would be five new characters. In October, we were surprised that two Saint Seiya characters, Kenshiro and a detective, were going to bring that total up to 25. This month, we found out about Piccolo, Kenshin, Cell, and Shishio, bringing us up to a total of 29 characters. At this rate, if we expect four as the minimum characters per month, we would get exactly 41 characters on the base roster. 50 if you count the 9 already announced DLC characters. However, knowing we're not likely to get a V-Jump scan in February detailing new information, because of course the game will have already been out by the time the February V-Jump issue is out, so we could assume that we get less characters in the month of February than we do majority of other months. Another thing to take into account is that two big events will be happening between now and the launch of the game. Those two big events would be Game Awards and Jump Festa. Game Awards, which takes place in early December, I'm not so sure how I feel about. Game Awards is a very non-anime audience. It's very much a general gaming audience. So I could actually see a world where we don't get any reveal here, but we're just gonna have to wait and see for that one. Jump Festa, on the other hand, is a perfect place to drop an abnormal amount of characters. I could see anywhere up to seven characters being talked about here. To be clear, I'm not expecting seven characters to be talked about there. I'm not expecting three characters to be talked about there. I'm just saying, up to seven could be talked about here, as in they could drop a ton of characters. For example, they could hold on to My Hero Academia and just like announce five My Hero Academia characters or something crazy like that. Again, I'm not expecting that. I'm just saying that that is a possibility and something to take into account when we judge how big the roster could be. So those numbers we were talking about earlier, 80 or 45 or 70, or 60, all of these numbers seem a little too high to me. I could see 45, heck, I could see 50, but any bigger than that, and I think we're probably taking it a little too far. I understand that most of us here are big anime fans, and we've played a lot of anime games, and we expect large rosters because of games like Storm 4, Xenoverse, and others that have spoiled us with massive rosters. But the truth is, those rosters don't really work in the same way that Jump Force's roster does. For example, a game like Jump Force is much more difficult to design from the ground up compared to other games that we just mentioned, Storm and Xenoverse. When I say more difficult, I don't mean it should be judged less harshly. The reason I say it's more difficult is because it will require more funding to get more characters into the game. For example, it would be cheaper to make an 80 character roster in a game like Storm 4 than it would be to make an 80 character roster for a game like Jump Force, just because of the type of animations that we have and the scale of game that we have. But assuming everything I talked about in this video is right, the average numbers and all that stuff, and they don't just randomly start dropping 12 characters a month, we should end up at around anywhere between 40 and 45 characters. I think that's about right. And despite the fact that if that ends up being the case, One Piece and Dragon Ball and possibly even Naruto are going to be taking up a large percentage of the roster, I don't think we really have to worry about that. First of all, 41 characters is a nice roster. It's a lot. And I know you're thinking, but what if my character doesn't get in? Or what if this character doesn't get in? Or what if that character doesn't get in? And yeah, that's a legitimate concern. But thankfully, I was wrong, the community was wrong, everyone was wrong about create a character. This amazing customization system is far better than I think most of us we're ever imagining it could be. Based on the screenshots we've seen so far from the avatar system, it looks like we're going to have a wide variety of options, enough to be able to make the majority of characters we want, or at least a version of them. This is just one page of the hair options available for females. You can change the color of each eye and shape of each eye. So confirmed that you will roughly be able to make Shoto Todoroki, which is awesome. I'm maining Shoto.
just not Shoto with ice and fire moves. We have body, hair, eyebrows, bro, eyebrows, ear options, ear options, like what? Nose, mouth, and jaw, features, voice, and this is not even counting the clothing options. Moving on to clothing, we have hairstyles, features, tops, bottoms, hands, feet, special, accessories. I'm gonna keep it 100% real with you. I think this CAC system looks better than Soul Calibur's, which is currently considered one of the better creative character systems out there. Really the biggest thing that Soul Calibur has over the CAC system in Job Force so far is that the color slider feature is not available. Instead, in Jump Force, we have color variants on particular items. Again, this makes it much more difficult to create a character from another franchise because you can't do color mix matching the same way that you can in Soul Calibur, but man, I'll take it. This is still really good. My point is this. Even if we end up with a character roster as small as 35, I'm gonna be happy because I'm gonna be able to create any character I want and mix and match all these crazy abilities with the characters on the roster. At the end of the day, if your creator character system has enough depth to it, you can create infinite characters, effectively creating an infinite roster. Let me know what you think. What is the bare minimum of characters you would want to see in Jump Force to be satisfied? My number is around 35 but again that's the bare minimum i'm expecting around 45 and i would be really happy to see over 50. i want to thank you so much for watching this video if you could leave a like on it it helps me out a lot it helps other people find the video and if you could help me by subscribing and hitting that bell icon it helps you keep up to date with future content that would also be greatly appreciated my name has been bilbsy and i will see you in the next video